definitely. Like he played very well. Definitely, he did. He got actually got the same farm. I think it's more more of a hey, we want Beastmaster, so we're gonna we're gonna let something through, or we're gonna we're gonna ban something that okay that isn't as typical. Okay. So we're gonna sort of waste the ban, but but, but make them think more. Yeah. So it you know we want the, we we want the BM. Okay. So Enchantress switches sides this time as well. Yeah, that's pretty much the. Uh, this is the, the dream for Navi. I think we could say because this is pretty much their favorite too. The Wisp of the Enchantress on the two supports, very uh, early aggressive. No, nope. I like picked the up really early. Last clinks, uh, early clinks, yeah. Very good versus IO. Mm -hmm. um, in mid game scenarios, you can very just four shot against them. Very good against Enchantress as well. This yeah. is this is great. I'm liking this. I'm liking this very very much. Can play in her jungle um, at like the 10, 15 minute mark, and you can sometimes just four shot her with strafe. It's really good. Do you think that would? Do you think that's going to be the puppy beast master? Like very no, out. No, this very... is. I think this is going to be the universe. Universe beast, beast master. master. Okay. Yeah. Uh, typically, I think secret's going to want a little more active supports. Uh, they want. They want to be able to secure the lane for Clinks until he hits six, and then six is going to go into the jungle and run around and try and create space mm -hmm. that way, which is a great new look from Secret. I like this a lot. This is exactly what they need to do. And I imagine that they're probably going to give our tour something like DK or... I could see them doing an Invoker again. Maybe a Puck or a Quop. Yeah. I'd say DK... DK is probably my, my number one pick for Shan. him. Really? DK is nice with the the synergy of you know, the, the pushing for Beastmaster. And then... Well, they've banned three uh, consecutive heroes that were used in game one by Navi now. So that's, uh, that's a bit of respect. That, absolutely. Hmm. Oh, and then a, okay. the puppy doom is gone. The puppy doom is gone. That's a, that's a, yeah, definitely appropriate. That would offset the space creation of Enchantress. So Navi should have the better early game. Definitely first ten minutes, based on their okay. heroes. Io can stack and roam, show up lanes randomly. Same with Enchant. It's a little too early to say. It really depends on on the rest of the draft here. Like Io, Io is a very it's it's an incredibly unique support in that it needs. It needs your cores to be very sort of active early. That's true, because otherwise the movement speed is worthless. Well, yeah, it's, yeah, if you if you have an invoker just sitting mid, like Io doesn't really do anything for you. True, but if it's like a Death Prophet or Viper or even Dragonite, might work a little bit. It can be really right, strong right. early game. So probably what another Lion coming out for Pike, right? Yeah, it's, uh, it's... definitely gets Enchant Io. Yeah, for it gets sure. those two heroes for sure. I'm surprised they didn't ban it. I'm surprised Navi I... banned CM over on the line here. What does CM do? Enchantress. Counter is yeah, Enchantress yeah, early roll. And then yes, you get to yeah. late game and Enchantress yep. is not exactly very good. What, but, exactly but versus the lion. Did. But versus yeah, the lion. Yeah, same, yeah. same thing the Secret did uh, first game. They, they, banned... they banned the CM on the back yeah. of the Enchantress pick. They even banned the Doom so he can't devour yeah. as well. Yeah, but they so took oh, the lion well. yeah. themselves. Navi doesn't have that yeah, option. Yeah, no, you're right. Okay, so, so they do. Don't okay, so they, they don't do. want the DK. Wow, they yeah. think the Navi does. Okay. Uh -huh. Well, I mean, Navi could turn into really fast pushing if they got a DK, I guess. Um, so we have we have a bunch of we have like the two supports already picked. So now it's obviously three cores coming out afterwards. So what we might see the Dendi Puck, maybe his Quap, maybe not. All right, oh, or the Windrunner. Right? Oh, okay. Very interesting. I like that. All right, it's a bit of a change up. Good Happens. against Clinks for a long time. Yep. Uh, hard to gank mid. Should work okay with Io in the laning stage. Strong dual lane, very strong, like two ranged yeah. heroes. Yeah. Decent lockdown. Yeah. Two red-haired characters. Ah yes. A little ball of energy. It's pretty much the same. Pretty much the same. <laughs> <laughs> Little ball. <laughs> so the, they, yeah, I think the, the support picks are probably going to be coming out here. So I think the line is pretty appropriate. It's very good versus Windrunner as well, but. Very solid overall. Yeah, I mean the hero, like, you, you of can, course. You can also, you can also give the lane to the lion after okay. Clinks hit six, so you can get your levels that way. So, hmm. oh, something oops. to deal with the enchantress. Yeah, but that's, that will that's be a downside. Oh, witch doctor, great against Io, great against enchantress. Yeah, lion gets a little punished by enchantress creeps early, whereas now secret safe lane is going to be covered with witch. So we're going to get this wind ranger drow, which we have seen before. They've picked it before, and yep. they've run it with uh, this is exact lineup lineup they ran at Dream League, yep. but with a uh, I think the last pick was a Slardar for general. It's interesting as well. We've seen a number of CIS teams running this as well. Yeah. Uh, versus Pro Impact run it at Epicenter. 
I, I really like oh, yes. this. Yes, that's right. That's I really like this. Navi is going to ball up its five and go. It's great yep. against Beastmaster, great against Clinks that look for individual pickoffs. They say, you know what? We don't care. We yeah. don't care about your vision. Yep. We don't the, care and about your There's no your hiding this. They're basically just yeah. saying, this is what we're going to do. Yeah, here we are. Yeah. Come at us. <laughs> oh, I like it a lot. I do like it. And now Secret needs some, some ability to stop this push, to stop the momentum. You can see a, a Puck, maybe a Quap out of uh, Secret for our tour. I like Puck. Um, I always find that Draw Ranger strats are beaten rapidly when you can just burst somebody down and gap close really fast to prevent her from running away. Right. So That's why Lycan is typically Puck very good. good against it as well, but it's not an option in this game. For what reason? Because they already have a Clinks. And Enchantress. Yeah. Oh yeah, I guess. Okay. Oh, so that's... Uh, I believe that's a fourth Hello. position Kunkka? Yeah. Oh, it's pretty I'd be good. incredibly surprised if that was a mid Kunkka, but... Uh, yeah. I believe that's a four position Kunkka. The, the most is... important thing about this is that if Navi is doing like a three-man push and looking for relocate ganks, they can always guarantee the core kill. Because you yes. just X him, and then when the relocate comes through, you pull him back. That's do they, very cute. Do, are they going to go for the Tinker last pick on Secret? Do some cheese, Ooh. the cheesy uh, X rearm everything. He I has been playing a lot. He has of, been playing, playing a lot of Tinker. Tinker. It's mm. also great at defending pushes. Uh, miss chance versus right click heroes. It's he it's, could get Ags. It's decent. It's decent against uh, Wind Ranger mid as well. Is that like the? Is this like one of the? No, it's not the first Kanka pick of all the majors, right? It's uh, pretty new, close. Newbie, newbie picks newbie it sometimes. Picked it yeah. times? Okay. Not sure if had a major. Chuan. It's basically Chuan. Every okay. team Chuan's on, he's like, yeah, I'll occasionally <laughs> do a four position Kanka. Okay. It's pretty cool. The the ultimate I think is great. It's low cooldown, sixty seconds, so you can just nuke a creep wave and the whole thing mm -hmm. dies pretty much. Yeah, I, the, I think it's a good ban the good lichen. Option. I think they should just ban the tinker. Honestly, you know, you you should know that this is an EE clinks. Do you think that? Do you think they're gonna take? I I feel like they will. Well, they might, right? I feel like they will. W with that like said, it. though, if they got lichen and secret won the laning stage by a little bit, the game would just end. Do you think secret's gonna if win they the? Lichen. They have a drow. I, I'm just, you, I'm just saying the option is there. Like the the split push is more dangerous, definitely, with a lichen. And I mean, it's great against Dro, like outside of the laning phase. But Navi picked Dro to secure lanes, and it's you're you're picking you. They would have a lichen Kunkka Beastmaster, and then which it's not the strongest lanes. Come on, give it to me, puppy. Do it, puppy. Fog the draft master. <laughs> Ten seconds. It just yeah. it, like instantly when I saw it, that was the first yeah. thing I thought of. So and there's yeah, and, uh, we didn't mention this, but I'm sure you meant it. Uh, you can always X the tinker to yeah. throw them in, do dangerous stuff, and pull them back. Pull them back. Yeah. yeah. Are we gonna see the tinker? I, I, I look. Oh. What is what is happening? <laughs> oh, there it is. The on. mid dark seer guys, <laughs> right on target mid against four ranged heroes. Iron Shell's gonna suck this game. It actually what, does almost. What's nothing. happening? They want a combo for uh, the Kunkka, oh, the Kunkka a... Dark Seer. That, I mean, it is one of the okay. most massive combos. Well, it's not I the guess. hardest to land, I guess. So but... it's a four-position Beastmaster. Slaughter is the last. I... They did pick the Slaughter. All right, well, mm. got that one at least. Yeah. Okay, so Charlie. I like that. I... Which which way is this second game going based I'm on picking, the draft? I'm oh. picking Navi. Yeah. I don't I don't know what this is out of secret. This okay. is. Really weird. Really weird. I Fog. completely agree. I really like Navi's lineup. They've ran this before. It's comfortable. Secrets is very outside the box. And yeah, Darkseer versus four range heroes with a draw. Not sure how much Iron Soul is going to have an effect of. So yeah, I, oh. I personally like Navi. I figured out it's the Darkseer Clinks dual lane that you encounter in uh, brand new Dota pubs. So you, <laughs> Clinks goes Windwalk first. Exactly. And and you stand there until they die. It's beautiful. Genius. They'll, I, never, I do... they'll never see it coming. They won't. They're not gonna. I, I think Navi's draft is better, but there is a lot of cool wombo combo that Secret has late game. But I think, I think Navi is a better draft. Hmm. Okay. All right. Well, three out of three suggest that uh, Navi have the better draft. Despite the fact that all of these guys went for Secret for the series, they've all picked Navi to win in game two. And if that's the case, they win their opening match in Group B. Let's find out how it goes down with your commentary team, Odie Pixel and Gods. Thank you very much, Red Eye, and indeed we're here ready to get ourselves to game two of Navi versus Secret. I'm Eddie Pixel, I'm joined by Gods, and well, what a game we're going to have on our hands here. Navi pulling out a bit of a drow strat, and well, <laughs> Secret with the Arteezy Kunkka. And look at this as we fly ourselves into the game map. But Gods, Artur Kunkarino. I mean, what, what's the game plan here for Secret? This is looking crazy. Uh, yeah, I, this is not a hero I knew he had in his repertoire. I don't think he knew. 
<laughs> Pup Puppy decided like you've got a you've got a Kunkin now. He's got some cosmetics though. I mean, I feel like you don't often pimp out oh, your he heroes has. if you don't play it. So which sword has he got? Uh, he's got the genuine inverse bayonet. Oh, that's nice. It's got 21 kills on it. So 21 I, kills, guys. He's got 21 <laughs> kills on his Kunkin cosmetic. I am not. Watch convinced. out, boys. <laughs> he's he's probably told Puppy like, look, I need to add some. The cosmetic game isn't up there. Like, let's let's get a few yeah, more. He has certainly got the cosmetic swag on. But they, yeah, this is going to be interesting to see. I mean, Secret pulling out something a little bit different here. Navi, I mean, the Drow Strats, something that we saw them run a lot of times at Dream League, is something they're very comfortable in. Something they normally tend to do in a series where they are a game up, and they want to just give it a shot and uh, see if they can just absolutely walk away with the game. And we're going to see here both of the runes uh, being slightly contended. We'll I'll see a bit more space down on the bottom for uh, the Drow to grab a free run. Top, we'll see if anyone catches anyone. Well, they've got a crush onto Pylar Dyer. Na'Vi moving in. They're going to find it. First Blood for Dendi as they take down Pi on the Witch Doctor. Yeah, he snuck and took the rune, so doesn't hurt Pi, but it helps Na'Vi. When yeah. your mid player can get things going with a First Blood early on, already faring himself a salve, this is going to be a, a very tough mid lane. And for Arteezy, it's it's a bit of an odd mid choice just because you're against a Wind Ranger with Grow Ranger Aura. I think he's going to get harassed heavily. It's not going to be all that easy. We normally see the Sineco Wisp spending a lot of time in mid lane, but I guess recognizing that bottom lane's going to need help, they know that this is going to be one of those games where Dendi may be more of a solo rather than a dual lane mid. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, talking about the other lanes as well, I mean, the bottom lane, Drow, farming up against the pressure at the Dark Sea, you, you are going to have that the back at the regen from Seneca. I mean, you feel that Dichara should be fine down here, but at the same time, do you see Universe getting quite a bit on the Dark Sea? Yeah, they, this IO Drow does not have much kill potential no. onto him, so we'll likely see Universe get, similar to last game, get farm experience and not have to worry too much about the aggression coming out. Aggression, though, can come out of art style. Curious to see where he heads first. He's already made his way towards the top lane where Envy is uh, already nice and low for this prospective kill. But a lot of these big camps, you can see Artstyle does not have a camp by his secret shop, does not have a camp up in this top lane. This is making it a lot more difficult for him to be active early on. Well, we'll see as well. I mean, at the moment, in terms of the CS in the mid lane, five for one, four for two. It's going fairly evenly, you know, it's easy with the snouts here. And uh, of course, with the, the early quelling, just being able to show that he can secure this CS, Dendi. I'm in for a bit of harassment, trying to force our TZ back, but I feel at the moment, with, with it being 1-1, we can, as you said earlier, just expect to see a pretty static lane here, do you feel? Yeah, um, from the mid lane, absolutely. Artstyle, though, is getting active. The cast will not bounce. Nicely micro, it's splitting his hero and his creep, and for secret, Puppy's just trying to keep Artstyle out of his jungle. He wants to just farm away with that Iron Talon, but that's something Artstyle is not going to easily allow. Um, I mean, well, where do you feel that we're going to see the first rotation to come out then? For Navi, there it's purely Artstyle's Enchantress. He's got the smoke. He's, I mean, he's, I guess, rotating already, so to speak, uh, forcing just the two supports of Secret to play very reactionary. Even Arteezy is being pulled off the mid lane. If you want to bring your mid out of the lane, you've got to find this kill on Artstyle. But for now, he's managed to avoid getting caught out. They kill off the two neutrals, but. Considering they're committing three heroes to this, art style still being pesky. This is overall. Oh, oh, Pi like... <laughs> yeah, yeah. is wandering around on incredibly low health. Here. Yep. I mean, art style's being a huge pesk right now. Pi is just trying to kind of min max with his low HP. He still has another cast, so he recognizes that he can stay around if art style grabs a creep. He can always cast it for the easy kill, but. Uh, this to me is very favorable for Navi with what art style's doing here in the early game. Right, well, towards the mid lane as well, we are going to see weapon in towards the top. Oh, with the shackle, Dendi. Nah, he's just playing. Now we're going to have TPs in. Maybe they could try and find something. You have Snake Hook coming and giving Dendi the boost in general. Slithering him, ready to close down the gap. Arteezy, he's gone. This is the Navi synergy we saw last game. They give up an IO kill to the tower, which gives some split gold to Secret, but Dendi makes the call, like, or oh, Sonico, oh, they've made this plan, like, as soon as I hit a shackle, TP in, and I'm going to run forward, get the tether slow, which then sets up, sets up the slaughter crush. Everything about that, every small little, like, slow or bit of damage was contributed to them getting that kill on Arteezy. This is uh, another kill going Navi's way as Dendi continues to assert his prowess in this mid lane. Not again. Oh, it's easy just, yeah, as you said, with the torrents coming through, we're going to see in the runes as well what's going to happen top. Beast, he's going to find himself an arcane puppy. Finally, the T rune will continue to stay. 
But uh, other than the kind of the movements towards mid, it's, it's still just going to be relatively static. You can see both of the safe laners farming up a tree, 23 for 8 for MV, compared to uh, over on the side of, of Na'Vi. And uh, yeah, just the, the triple Sages mask at the moment, just to allow him uh, the ability to just keep those Searing Arrows available. I just, CS and harassment. I love how fast plays, art style plays. He spends a couple minutes being very annoying, zoning uh, the enemy junglers, and then he immediately goes, grabs two creeps, and he's on the move to gank mid lane. Yeah, and I'll look at this again. Dendi setting up with a shackle and as you wrap around. Indeed, as you were saying, Artsy, he will get the torrent off. I don't know if it's going to be enough to save him as Dendi and Artstar. One more touch from the edge will do it. And another kill onto the Kunkra in the mid lane. And we are starting to see, you know, that, that lane get punished. And Dendi, he's going to be able to create a difference and, and create that lead now in the CS. 22 to 12 against the 15 for 4. And the fact that they've taken down Arteezy twice. And then immediately Artsal goes into the enemy jungle looking to take over. Has an ensnare into Clap. Puppy could be in trouble with the Dro Aura. They have a lot of right click damage coming out. It's not quite enough to get past the boars. I mean, again, the two heroes coming back in looking to Artstar. There's a TP across from Universe as well. They really want to do something about this Enchantress in the jungle and well with the cast. They're certainly going to have a good shot at it. Maledict down. Axe is flying through. He's going to be popped. Secret finally able to do something about the edge. But, you know, Artstar, he's already found himself at the level four. I feel like he's just been as annoying as he needed to be and just kind of just drawn so much attention from the side of Secret. And that just turns this bottom lane into a free farm lane for Dicha Ra. So uh, in terms of the big picture, that doesn't really hurt Na'Vi. If anything, we just see Artsal head right back towards his jungle, pick up a couple of creeps, smoke again towards the mid lane, while Dicha Ra continues to farm, gets that level 6 precision or uh, marksmanship online. And from there, it's, it's Na'Vi who can start taking towers, really looking for the next couple of ganks and increasing the tempo of this game. Oh, Puppy. Look at the general. Oh, nice he's hot on the yeah. trail and he's got the vision of it, Puppy. He is uh, in a lot of spot of bother. They will have the boar slow. And that's going to be enough, Puppy. A little bit tankier on the beast. And the crush onto the boar, just making sure he gets that juicy golden XP there. The, the slaughter. A three for two. What, 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 what is the plan here for Secret? I mean, you know, they managed to kind of stop Art Style from coming into their jungle. But uh, uh, is it going to be a similar play style to last game where they look to constantly keep up the split and, and, and try and get that farm on their cores? Or is yeah. this more role, you know, a draft oriented or team fighting? And well, again in the mid lane, Art Easy, he will torrent around himself, but General walks out, walks back in, and again, the play so to much hate. Involved. Yeah, let's see what he can do. But the crush, it holds him back already. It's going to allow Dendi to get himself out of harm's way. In fact, they'll turn. They'll look for the shackle. Oh, they're going to get it. Oh, they are going to get it. And back in. Oh, Tevi. The wall has been dropped here. But Dendi, he's got the back oh. of us. And they've got Envy getting taken down. Dendi with the kill. I mean, I, this is, again, looking to be not necessarily the uh, the game two turnaround that Secret fans would have hoped for so far. Yeah, Dendi gets his bottle refilled. He is back to full HP when he was on, like, 20 HP. I mean, you asked about what Secret were going to do. It was very much, okay, you've got this level 7 Clinks. He can get active. He's gone for three points in Skeleton Walk, something that Jackie loves to do. So he's got this really high mobility. He grabbed a Death Pact and then wanted to get involved. The other hero that can look to get involved is going to be Puppy when he hits level 6. But that first Clinks rotation, not just failing, but turning into a Death on Envy really hurt Secret and gives Na'Vi a very big early game advantage. This is so much damage. Like, if you if you don't get that quick clean kill, and it, he went for Dendi, problem was, General was there for the crush, it backfires very quickly, because Na'Vi can punish so hard because of the right-click damage that the Precision Aura provides their team. Everyone getting plus 35 damage, and that is something that you just don't have the best answers to. Uh, you got to be careful now. So, I mean, Dendi, he's, he's got a DD in the bottle. Before we've seen him being getting, able to get those kills in the mid lane with a plus one. This time, if he finds you on his own and hits the shackle, you're dying. Four points in the shackle. He's going to have the time to beat down onto you with the focus fire. And Envy uh, came in quite aggressively. With the, maybe looking for the courier, but the courier actually making the movement around to, towards the north. So, it wasn't going to be a potential to find the pickoff. Mainly to, to try and catch out the IO. If he comes back out, he might find the curry on the retreat. Now it looks like war. Oh, he doesn't actually quite get the touch on. And now they know where he is. Top lane, though, General's been ganked up and will go down to the first roar of the game. So yeah. Puppy gets level 6, throws out a roar. But again, this this Klinks' ineffectiveness is very concerning uh, for Secret. This is a risky pick in general with the way that Envy plays it because he gets so active and will fall. If he doesn't find the kills, he falls behind on farm, and that's exactly what we're seeing here. Uh, for Jackie, so 
And his rotation's being scattered. The, I, I love that Na'Vi are so proactive with all the sentry wars. And look at this with a relocate straight away. Looking for Universe. They don't get the shackle. Well, that's going to mean that Universe will be able to escape the question. Because Secret try and punish this one. Snake out. Yeah, he, he's going to get taken down. Walks into Envy. Envy will find one. If they can find Denny as well, this will be huge for Secret. They'll get the cast. The torrent is on point as well. Follow through control is there. Dendi gets a boat to the face. He'll turn around. Shackle up Artis. He might still be able to get himself out of this one, and he will. So Secret, even though they land the spells, it's not enough to control and take down the Wind Rage on Envy. Oh, only just getting himself away. Nearly got caught out by the Amplifying. They might have been able to chase that, that one down and look for another. So Zico, they find the Aya, just unfortunate for them that they couldn't punish Na'Vi a little bit more heavily for that yeah. one. They got the Na'Vi Courier, so that's, I guess, a bit of a small little boost to, as far as their overall farm and economy, but it's not the, the big kill onto Dendi that they would have ideally hoped for. Dendi, just with an illusion. Nothing too big here. I'll just get it. some of them pushing down on the bottom. Envy. I mean, he, he does need to continue his farm pace. We see at the moment, because of the, uh, the momentum of the game, the net worth of the two top heroes for both sides. There's uh, quite, uh, yeah, just about a thousand between it, just under. So certainly a lead here for Na'Vi's cause. Yeah. And Na'Vi, when they really look to start applying pressure and taking more towers, is going to come with the, the Slot of Blink Dagger. That's where he can initiate in, and you've got to relocate to back up his initiation. Yeah. It also just helps you push towers, because you've got that threat of initiation, which their lineup has... Only from a shackle shot, which is not exactly reliable in a lot of these situations right now. Like they yeah, vision of him. They yeah. did when he came around and he came out of Invis and, and was near Artstyle. Artstyle pot, spotted him out. And he's still hanging around. Uh, it has been a TP in from the uh, from Drow Ditcher, who's he's going to look to start stacking up these ancients. What? Uh, the... What? Huh? Is that a visual bug? I, I I have the same one. Like, uh, sometimes, normally when it's a visual bug, you get just on like one spectator, but I've got the same thing. I mean that. Uh, that's a miss. I mean, no, I guess. <laughs> is there literally? That's that's literally a, a, a misclick. Maybe he wants to build one into Helm and one into Vlad's, and then they stack. <laughs> the ideas. <laughs> that. Oh, well, that one on to Dendi, he's gone. Oh. Uh, secret, they're finding, well, can they find themselves anything more here? They're surging Arteezy forward. Um, yeah. He's still working on that one, Gods. I mean, you're the analyst. What's going on there? <laughs> Come on, there must be something really smart that we just <laughs> can't... I'm just, I'm I mean, just shrugging my shoulders here. I mean, is this the, no, the ultimate BM victory? Defeating Secret with two Morbid Masks? Could be. Could uh, be. That, that's making a statement. That was like the uh, the Dagon 5 Cure Invoker back in the day. Where, or the, the Febby Wisp where he just had like three Vit Boosters. <laughs> to start stacking items that you don't normally see. But uh, yeah, I, I imagine this is probably just a misclick coming out from DJR. Meant to probably buy the Morbid, the Helm of the Dominator, and accidentally bought one component twice. I, don't, I think this is the first time we've ever seen uh, any hero go for this build. Any yes. competitor. <laughs> this is a, this this is is a uh, Dota 2 first. I don't think he's going to be setting the meta game. Imagine if it has 100% win rate as well. Yeah. <laughs> we'll start seeing it in all the pubs. Double Morbid Mask build. I mean, well, at the moment. And it's, it's you know it's not looking terrible for now. They do lose it. They do, of course just lose uh, a little bit in the mid lane there. And Envy still trying to find you know, a bit of action around the map. He keeps making these movements, seeing what he can get. But Navi you know, playing relatively safe, keeping grouped up. But I mean, 13 minutes in, it's a little bit more uh, of a controlled start here for Secret. It certainly feels than, than compared to Game One. But at the same time, you know, 30 minutes into Game One, it wasn't looking terrible for them. It was about what, uh, let's say, what the 18, 20 minute mark, where suddenly we're seeing these kind of full-on engagements where Navi were coming out on top. And so. one of the the really cool strategic things about the Kunker pick that we saw a little bit out there in the mid lane is you can't actually rely on Soniko's relocate saves if the hero is X because you relocate him out, the X will immediately pull them back in. And that's something that Soniko, more than most IO players, is really well known for, is just making those clutch saves onto Dendi or Dichi around the front line. So it's a kind of cool pick to see in the hands of Arteezy for that reason. But it's Navi who are about to get their snowball train choo-chooing along now with the Aegis pickup. They can start looking to take objectives. They push very quickly with their lineup. And straight away with the edges, they're, I mean, we're interested if they do look to try and fight. You've got three towards the bottom. I mean, while space is there for Darks here, Universe, he's closing in on the mechanism. So just, yeah, he's literally going to have it ready for the next uh, defense. 
And yeah. the team by the secret's scary. You look yeah. at vacuum into Kunkka, Ghost Ship plus Torrent, not to mention having the mech advantage as well. So, yeah. and we we've seen as well. Ditra he has sold his uh, second mobile mask. Okay. So I mean, <laughs> regardless though, he's still sitting, of course, second on the net worth. But it's the mistake has uh, has been hidden. He's probably hoping that no one saw it. We did Ditra. Don't worry. Well, they're jumping in onto MV. They've got the amplify. They've got the damage. Well, if they bring Dendi, and they certainly have. And Envy getting taken down, and I guess this is one of the strengths of just running the IO against uh, Klinks. It makes it so hard for the Klinks to find this this kind of action across the map aggressively, because half the time the IO is going to be here, there, bringing in an extra hero to save the chosen target of Envy. And just a clever smoke from Navi, knowing they can just make yeah. that rotation through the instant that the smoke pops, you use the dust, you find him, and you get those kills. So, Navi. On recognizing that they're going to find a kill on top lane, they TP in the rest of their team, bring Dichira, they're going to start taking the T1 tower, but Secret already with a, a counter play in mind at the bottom lane, have got Puppy pushing away. Yeah, I mean, this is, you know, it's it's obviously not the same extent that we saw in game one, but as you said, there's just that play where, where Secret aren't really grouping up and, and looking to respond as a full five man. And the times that they did in game one, it didn't go well. Yeah. And it's been a great game from Puppy so far. He's the most farmed secret hero, impressively. And he's not just farming away, he's been involved in kills. I remember this as well. So they take the tier one top. General's going to head back. Uh, it's questionable of how much he can do because the rest of Navi is still pushing in on the top lane. And yeah, General's just realizing that this may be not the place to fight. Backs up. I think it was actually a really questionable TP from him, but not, uh, Secret just didn't jump on him in time. Like, he managed yeah. to just sprint away from the roar of Puppy. Could have been a very dangerous situation to be in. And Puppy almost with a Crimson Guard complete. We're seeing a very different itemization on Puppy, but this is a guy who often, like even when you're playing heroes like Enigma, would go for this Crimson Guard build. We see pipes on him more so than other players who go for like your classic BKB. So he's very willing to get those more team-oriented items you need. And against a right-click lineup with Precision Aura, Crimson Guard, a fantastic item to have. Oh, Look at his positioning as well. If they spot this man out, he has got to be very careful. And Jay's yeah, making a, a haste. Hasty retreat back to his half of the map, so Navi won't catch him this time. But they were very much hot on the trail, and it's just proving to, to be a game where Envy's got to be so careful with his positioning, because Navi will be there to punish it. And for now, he's managed to at least create space for the greedy Beastmaster jungle, as well as the like the Dark Seed that can bump oh, towards look the top back. with the relocate. They have caught Envy out. The amplifies down, and he's gone. He nearly. Very close to taking down Seneco in response, but it isn't going to be the case. They get away with another kill onto the Clinks. Navi just continuously finding the, the, the action that they need, and the fact that you just look at the, the difference between Ditchera and Envy, and the net, it's 2k net worth now. Dendi, oh, he's going to get the shackle onto a hero. Well, it'll take a boar or two. If he gets the second one, that's, that's going to be pretty nice. Yep, phases in, takes that. I mean, two boars, it's, it's known to laugh at. Not bad at all there for the golden XP for this this Wim Ranger. And all eyes really on RTZ to see what he's going to be able to do. We, we're yet to really see the big plays come out. We saw him hit a torrent boat combo towards the bottom. It didn't end up in a kill on Dendi. I guess yeah, you're going to have the Tidebringer to help you with the, the defense when the pushes start to come in a little bit heavier from Na'Vi. And this game's really going to test like where secrets stand right now. Last yeah. game they push themselves in a direction where they're going to split push. They don't want to do that this game. Yeah, Envy can do so on his clinks, but the rest of the team, the Darkseer Kunker, they've drafted much more towards team fighting. They're itemizing towards team fighting with the Crimson Guard on Puppy as well. Oh, and they've caught again. Envy again. Straight up. He's trying to run. That's all he can do. He certainly can't hide. And this man should be nothing less than a dead one as General. He's got a blink available. Jumps up. One more touch to the clinks and he's gone. General and the boys finding yet another... And it's, I think it's, yeah, the, the sentry there on the high ground pretty much yeah. spotted Clinks as he came down. With so they the knew he was round. Yeah. And that's something you see teams like the really yeah. kind of proactive teams do. And you can do it more so in your head because it does cost you quite a bit of gold. Is planning sentries with observe wards, less to deward and more to scout the Clinks ro roaming around. You want to do this on top of having something like a gem because it means that you always, you're always going to re be able to read Clinks' movement and find those kills. So Navi going to find themselves another outer tower here. Dichara, Dragonlance, Yasha. I was going to say, look at General, he was maybe eyeing up jumping in, and he will. He's going to get punished here by the combination of spells from Artor. They'll move in as well. The IO is not going to be enough to save the Slardar. Now with the wall drop, this could be Secret turning this one around. They're looking for Artstar, but he's already got the heals up. Dichara trying to run away from Puppy. 
And we'll see if they do manage to find a drought as well. They need this secret and they will get it. A second kill for secret there on the defense. So this time, but what seems to be the first time in this uh, whole series, Na'Vi making a bit of a blunder and secret are there to punish it. And then they're coming out of that one with two high value kills. Yeah, secret team fight just really showing its strength there. And you find that initial pickoff on the key, the key target in the slider. He's the, the team fight specialist as far as Na'Vi's draft is concerned. And with him out of the, the equation, Secret can just chase on and kill more. The Aegis had expired as well, so Navi really just overstayed their welcome there. And the other big thing is just having that Crimson Guard there as well. You, you, like if you're Navi, as soon as yeah, they saw that saw Crimson that. Guard on Heroes, they're like, oh, yeah. we can't actually win this fight at all. We've, we're so reliant on right-click damage, and this Crimson Guard is going to negate the majority of that. I mean, if you are Navi and, and just considering that item pickup, I mean, how how do you play against that? Do you, because of the draft and the, and the play style that you've obviously intended to go for, do you still have to continue to look for those fights, even though you know they're going to be harder, or do you think we can expect to see some of the members of Navi just waiting until they get kind of the next big item before they they start to look for these pushes again? Mm. It's they've really got to kind of brainstorm how they're going to play around the the X initiation because traditionally like Navi aren't worried about one of their cores getting initiated on because they always have the relocate save yeah. but that's not available with uh, Seniko being unable to relocate out an X target so that's where I think Navi are going to have to adjust have their cores perhaps prioritize earlier BKBs just so they don't die to the X initiation. Uh, then the BKBs oh. act as the counter to it. The found envy as well. The silence into the crush amplifying. He melts. Oh, deja vu all over again with poor Jackie. He is certainly falling, falling down the ranks. And as we can see now at a point where, you know, the Slard are pretty much on the same net worth level as this Kalinx at this point. And with the relocate top, the action is not stopping for Na'Vi. They'll jump in onto Puppy. He'll get the raw onto Seneca. The Crimson Guard doing a fair bit. And it might just keep it alive. And all with the combo from Secret. They're turning it here. They take down Seneca. They take down Dendi. We're just going to get anything more. Looks like General Teacher on Artstar will be able to escape. But we are seeing the Wombo from Secret can certainly punch back hard. They do still end up losing two. But as we can see from the Golden XP, because of the position they were in, any kill that they can get is a good one. So an even trade is going to be a good trade for Secret. This Crimson, like, Puppies are actually just a Dota genius. When you see, like, the item, like, coming into effect there. That focus Absolutely. fire from Absolutely. Windranger, it, it felt like his HP bar wasn't moving yeah. while he was being focus fired. Without that Crimson Guard, Secret would have lost the last two yeah. team fights, essentially lost two more towers, and it would have been in a very tricky position. But yeah, that, that item. On top of that, he has a Vlad's for more armor. Normally, you see like a Beastmaster, and you, you were told, like, yeah. oh, he's not going Necrobook. You'd be like, what is he thinking? Like, is, what kind of Beastmaster doesn't get Necrobook? But exactly what Puppy's done, and it's worked out fantastic. And CMB at the moment, again, coming across aggressively on the map, just getting a bit of intel for the side. The rest of Secret are moving in. And around towards the bottom, coming into the jungle, Puppy, smoked up. The backup's there from Pi. Let's see what they can do. They have got a roar, no death ward at the moment. Let's see if they can try and burst down Artstar. Nonetheless, it's, uh, well, with the help of RTs, they certainly can. Death ward finally coming back off cooldown. Pi will drop it to secure the kill. So the smoke is successful. And we are starting to see uh, kind of a, a bit of a glimmer of hope here from Secret as they are finding the favorable plays. And are starting to put Na'Vi uh, back in their place. And, and this is something that's got to be scary if you are Na'Vi, because you are running a Drow lineup. You, you really can't afford for, for the game pace to slow down and the uh, the opponent to start to find th this kind of action that Secret are getting. Yeah, I, I think their window's not closed quite yet, but no, no, it's, no. it's going to quickly approach that point if they're not careful and if they keep on losing fights like this. So Envy working towards his death slate is going to find a lot of these Na'Vi heroes here. And with the Sentry Ward there, he knows he's safe. No. Whoa, relocate bottom though. Absolutely, because on the bottom lane, generally TP back earlier, got the jump in onto the puppy. And uh, Crimson Guard not going to save you this time. Seneco, Just don't, I don't, don't think bring you... Danny back yet. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, this man does uh, not get out of this one. The four members of Secret sticking around to watch the ball get beaten down. I, that was like, I think, sheer luck that they happened to be going for a kill with relocate as Envy found them. <laughs> like, Envy was ready to just. What, probably four shot the IO, maybe a little bit, maybe needs a fifth with the mech. Um, and he relocates himself and his, his buddy out right as Envy was about to set up some nice yeah. kills. So, I believe you've got yeah, Gem now on General though. So, so Envy's life is certainly going to get a lot harder. Uh, he's got to be a lot, a lot more careful. And uh, Roshan is back up. Yeah. Uh, we saw earlier how quick Na'Vi could take it down. And already this... starting to play the idea. Then he's making his way back over. So they should be able to have a good shot at this. The question is, can Secret get there in time to? To contest, they do have the the torrent, the boat, 
other things to throw in, but no, it looks like they're not going to make their way over. And with the Amplify, with Dendi there as well, they're going to make short work of this one. Arty easy. Uh, he X marked himself, walked halfway out, and then disappeared. I uh, don't know what he was trying to do there, but it didn't work. And Navi get away with that one. Yeah, Puppy was just respawning a bit too late to get there in time, and the uh, map vision was completely gone. Seeker actually put two wards in the enemy jungle almost to set up for that second Roshan. Because they recognize, like, okay, we've got this strong team fight. Navi can't just go for Roshan against us if we have Vision and if we have Beastmaster alive. Problem was, Vision got dewarded, Beastmaster died, and then Navi find themselves able to take that second Rosh. Very important for Navi overall with their their game plan and strategy that they do this. And again, coming through the junkie, might actually find the courier. Does he want to go for this? He, he, he could no pay TP with his though. life. Yeah. yeah if, he, it's... if he does, it's very likely a yeah. kill on him. And well, he's getting there towards his destiny lane. He has the Mithril and Blight's only he, he just needs, what, there, 900 or so more for the second one. And he'll have that done. Because, I mean, at this point, you saw him eyeing up uh, Snake on the eye, but even that's a questionable kill, because Snake, he's got a mech done. It's it's not going to be an easy one. Maybe he'll get away from the slider, gank thanks to a scan, and this gem is going to be the, the key tool for yeah. Na'Vi moving forward, but... Very hard to push high ground against the Dark Seed Kunker, not something I think Na'Vi really have on their mind even during this Aegis, perhaps. They likely need to just get more in terms of itemization towards the BKBs, Wind Ranger now with an Aghanim Scepter. Slada has the Flink Force, they can go for, they're going to try to find some pickups. I like the idea of like trying to initiate, get a pick off, and then not Secret aren't going to look to try and team fight if they've yeah. already lost and, one. And this is good as well, because Suneko, he is ready to bring Dandy in, and he will. Just to make sure they've got the damage to deal with RTZ. University there with a the vacuum, the wall. RTZ is already dead. He does get the bow down. It's not going to connect. There'll be a roar from Puppy coming out onto Arthur. Suneko trying to get himself out with the urn as well, but MV is there to close them off. We'll take down the IO. It's a one-for-one -one trade at the moment now. MV looking for the chase down onto Dandy. Yeah, it's nice. Not going to be a kill that he's getting. Dandy blinks out. Keeps himself alive, so just a one for one. But again, Seneca giving his life. They get the kill onto RTZ. Wolves also drop for that from Secret. So Navi will be happy, and they're not done. They're looking for more. Jumping straight in onto Pi with the crush. General needs a bit more backup, and it is on its way. Dendi's there, throws out the shackle, goes scepter. It doesn't matter. They'll just wait it out. He's been silenced up. No escape for the Wish. Dr. Zasta sits on the sideline, chucked in the impetus. Wolf drops to the vacuum. Envy starts to reveal himself, looking for Art Style, but they just turn, pound back into the clinks. All the Greaves keeping every love. Envy still goes down for the middle of the Brox there from the Lightning. So they do find him. Dichara, he goes down, but he had the Aegis. He's back. So again, more dying on Secret. Envy dying yet again. I mean, I kind of lost count of how many times we've lost the Clinks, but it's got to be a lot this game. I think it's a mistake there for Secret to re engage with Vacuum. I imagine the call is like, okay, Vacuum's back up, I can hit four in a Vacuum, but what's the follow-up to the Vacuum was purely the Clink's right click, yeah. so... They, they're they fighting and re-engaging into a Dichara Draranger who has Aegis. All, at best, all they got was the Enchantress. That was definitely not a worthwhile exchange for them, I feel. The Aegis game taken out kind of nice, there was still only just two minutes left on it. And also, this was not really an, an Aegis where Na'Vi were threatening to push high ground. If you take a, a trade like a carry like a clinks for an Aegis when you're in danger of losing your high ground. Yeah, that's kind of nice, but Na'Vi are kind of at that stage where they want to try to find pickoffs and fights and still work on their itemization. Oh, that's easy. I mean, this is one thing that he will be able to do, especially when uh, the heat starts to step up. Just X marks himself and, and get out and push the waves away. Yeah, so Dendi's got Ogre Club. We'll be going for the the other BKB on the team, I imagine even General Slider will be heading that direction. Envy's like, yeah, physical damage, but he's just not farmed enough where he's a big threat. The Desolator's online, but you really need more than this as far as DPS goes to really concern the Nas side of Na'Vi when they're BKB'd up. And he, it almost feels like he's going to have to go for a defensive item after this Desolator. Yeah, yeah definitely. Because, uh, as we saw then, you know, he did, well, to be fair to him, he was trying to stand and fight against, like, three, four members of Na'Vi yeah. being back into him. But, yeah, he does need to have a little bit more survivability, because, uh, unlike the side of Na'Vi, you know, he hasn't got that here, a light, light snake on the eye to, to kind of help with the save. At the most, they've they just got the auras, you know. Universe coming in close, has the Greaves. I mean, yeah, they can get a nice boat as well over the top of the side of Secret at the start of the fight. The Rome can certainly help out. You know, with the Crimson Guard and the reduction um, for the duration of, of, of the run, that certainly does add up and maybe gives Secret the durability to kind of take 
you know, the longer fights and come out on top against Na'Vi. And I think that's where Na'Vi are gearing up more towards the late game. Yeah, yeah you typically look at Drow Strats and you think, oh, they want to at least be threatening high ground around 30 minutes. And if the game goes 40, 45 minutes, you've maybe lost. But this feels a bit different because Secret have itemized, not all in on the early game, but very much they, they're not going to scale as well. Like with the Beastmaster going for a Vlad's Crimson Guard, we're not seeing Puppy, now a Blink Dagger. So he doesn't have that Necro Book, isn't going into that late game refresher build. We're not going to see the scary late game Beastmaster. These items are always going to be good, but they're not items you want on your most farmed hero or one of your most farmed heroes. And on the side of Secret, your two most farmed heroes, it's Beastmaster and Darkseer. Neither of these are carries who are dishing out damage in the late game. That's perhaps the slight concern as well. What is good for them is that they've got four very farmed heroes. On the side of Na'Vi, it's just really two. Um, and as we see, Dijarat's gold, as you said, don't matter how far the carries are, it's just continue to rack up. He's 3-1-2. 12k. Dendi, of course, certainly feeling like the man of the match this this, this time around. His shackles have been incredible. He's 7 2 6. It's, yeah, they've certainly got the high performers at the moment on Na'Vi. Uh, the question is, how well can Secret drag this one out? Continue to maintain these defenses. They are 30 minutes in. They're still holding on to two tier twos as well. So it, it's certainly a much better position for Secret to be in this game compared to what we saw in game one. Now, there definitely still is every potential for them to take this game. Uh, they just got to be very, very careful around this portion and, and make sure that they don't give anything more to Na'Vi. Because if Na'Vi find a kill, they'll almost certainly, as we've seen this, each and every time just accelerate it into two, into three. Then suddenly they're pushing down your lanes. And this was the stage of the game where like Secret really fell apart with yeah. all their split push last game. So already that seems they're taking a much different approach and part of it is their lineup of course where they want to be grouped up more with the Darkseer Kunker but I think also they recognize their faults from game number one and will play a much more kind of team oriented style of play and you've got to do that against this Suniko Ayo when there's that threat of relocating you can't have heroes off by themselves you have to always have the backup and the numbers advantage or you're going to get relocated on and fights will not go well for you. Um, no, I'm going to group up and start to push down on the top lane. At the same time, Secret going for a similar play down bottom. Tier 2's on the menu for both sides, and, and Klinks will take the touch onto that one. Envy finding the gold. Top lane, Na'Vi, they should be able to get away with finishing this one off. The question is, who's going to react to who first? Na'Vi still moving forward on this top lane. Secret, they are starting to scatter down, down mm. on the bottom, so I'm sure they'll come back for this one. We'll see how much Na'Vi can try and get away with. Oh, it's easy. Just coming in, clearing out the way for the Tidebringer. And uh, this is, yeah, it's going to be a little bit of an issue for, for Na'Vi trying to push in at this stage of the game. And already we can see they just back off. They retreat off. Na'Vi, they know it's going to be hard to push against Secret's lineup. Yeah. The high ground defense is not just the big team fight one mode combo. It's a Kunker who can clear the wave without risking his own life because of the X marks the spot. So Na'Vi, if they want to be able to counterplay that, they need to go into a Yule Scepter or possibly even multiple Yule Scepters as the kind of way to prevent Kunker just charging in forward, but even that doesn't feel like a, the best long-term plan. I think some of the key items that we need to see is going to be the uh, the Ghost Scepter on Suniko's IO. Uh, so many of these fights is just getting right-clicked down by the Clinks as well as other heroes, and having a Ghost Scepter can really make his life a lot easier. Well, Roshan not quite up yet, and uh, General ooh, tries to link it onto Puppy, but Puppy's reactions are on point, and MV from the high ground, he's actually trying to fight into this one, but there's a hell of a lot of RV here, and MV's gone, the vacuum wall will be dropped, but Seneco and Denny, they just walk it off, art style as well, stopping Puppy from being able to follow up, and MV just caught out of place, and Secret, they've got to be careful and make sure that this doesn't get any messier, as they're just on the retreat at the moment, Dendi, he's going to find Pi as well, and I hate to say it, but this feels very reminiscent of some of the fights we saw Secret try and take in game one. And it's it's crazy to see Envy have such a bad game on Clinks. This is one of his signature heroes. You go back to like some of his first games as a pro player, MLG Columbus, it's the Clinks where he took down like the all-star team DK. Here in Secret down 1-0, they give him Clinks and he is just looking awful in this game. He's had a terrible showing, he's being picked off. He started that fight when Puppy, as soon as he blinks backwards, you shouldn't be engaging because it means your Beastmaster can't back you up. He doesn't have that blink initiation. Universe was on the way, but he wasn't even he wasn't even close to Envy when he went in there. So it was a big mistake from Envy to try and follow up and take that fight there. So Na'Vi, off of that, get a couple of kills, take Roshan and pull ahead once again so yeah and this is the cheese as well cheese on dendi aegis on ditcher shadow blade now picked up from general so 
Uh, a lot of big things coming out, and yeah, with that, they've caught out RTZ. And... Oh, 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 that damage. It's oh. absolutely brutal. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> when the damage reduction isn't there, there's yep. no boat, there's Where's no your Crimson, Crimson Guard now? Where, where's your puppy, Artur? Yep. He's over there. I mean, secret. At this point, I mean, it, it may just be uh, up, up to them kind of playing for the long game you know they do kind of have to go for these splits they do need to hold from the base but as we saw just actively looking for fights on the map especially at this timing when there's an Aegis and cheese on Na'Vi I'll be very surprised if we see Secret try and go for a play like that yeah. again ah, there's Greaves now done on Seneco 4.5k on Ditchera I mean it's just so many things going the way of Na'Vi right now I'm confident that if Secret get the right initiation and like everything synergizes well in a team fight they actually win a team fight into Aegis and cheese but we haven't seen that from Secret. At this tournament, at previous tournaments, they're yet to kind of figure out that team synergy, and that's really the, the biggest problem that we're seeing out of them, because this is the stage of the game where if you get that nice Darkseid vacuum wall off with a Kunker follow-up, you have Beastmaster isolating a hero with a Blink Roar as well, you're going to win team fights. You're not actually that worried about your opponents having Aegis. Look at the smoke up for Na'Vi. They might just catch out Envy again. Envy's coming around. Did they get Vision? No, generally. He's already got eyes onto Arteezy. He's going to go in straight for a crush right in front of Secret. The Shackle Shot will be there. The Greaves and the Crimson Guard coming out now with a vacuum. Trying to slow down the aggression of Na'Vi, but then he pulls the BKB. Continues to try and move forward onto Arteezy. He's not going to find it. They just turn towards Envy. Take down the Glinks instead. And now with the Impetus flying for onto Pilot Dive, forcing him back. Na'Vi now getting the space to move up onto the Tier 3. With Envy dead for a minute, I mean, do you just let this go, or, or may, may we see him buy back here? Next vacuum, they, they've got vacuum in five seconds, which is when they may reinitiate. But it seems like they are going to at least let the tier three go down. Well, now onto the racks, and of course the pushing power from Na'Vi. Incredibly strong. Torn onto Arsot. General on the back line, jump straight onto Pilot Dead. They should vacuum all onto two, but the follow-up just isn't there for the time being. Art style, he'll survive through it. They'll take down the melee racks. And Art's easy again, looking for the... Torrent follow through, General and Artstyle being held close together there by the Paralyzing Cars, Got easy coming forward, next comes himself back out, General will get taken down by the Death Ward Pi, gets the Ghost Scepter out in time, they're going to continue to chase this one Na'Vi, they should find it and they will, a double kill for Dendi, as his Wind Ranger performance is just ripping through the side, and now a second set of, set of racks going down. Puppy jumps forward. Dichirak gets the BKB off. And now he just turns. Pushes Puppy back with the gust. Puppy's going to get taken down as well. It's a triple kill for Dendi. Two dead on Secret now without buyback. This is looking to be potentially the end of the road here for Secret in this first series. They will be knocked down to the lower stages of this GSL format of the groups. And there we have it. G she is called. Dendi gets a rampage. And... What a fitting way I to mean, end it. what? <laughs> yeah, I mean, Dendi this game on his Wind Ranger. I, I, I really feel that at the moment in the scene, he's one of the, Wim, the players that can still bring Wind Ranger back to where she used to be. You know, there was that, that kind of meta where Wind Ranger would destroy games. Navi sh and Dendi showing that it still can be there. But again, I just feel you can't really just talk about a single, single person's performance on Navi because it's just the team as a whole.